Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to make an advertisement like this using Photoshop elements that you can tag onto the end of your YouTube videos and other videos that you may want to upload to the web or even include on your own DVDs. It's pretty easy to do and I'm going to show you how. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is click File, New, and Blank File. And under blank file, select the file size you're going to use. So if this is going up to YouTube, you're probably going to use a 640 by 480. So select that. Once that's selected, you need to decide what kind of background color you want. Now what I generally find is on YouTube, if I use a darker background with lighter colored letters, it's more readable. So in this case, let's put a, a blue background. And to do that, I'm going to go to my color selector, find me a nice dark blue, about right there and then use my paint flood and have a blue background. Now if I like I can just leave that blue background but if I want to add some texture to it I can go to filter and go to render and select clouds. And the clouds what it does it makes a combination of your colors here because I had a dark blue and a white blue it doesn't really look good so let's change it that to a different blue. And now we go up to filter and render and clouds. It gives us a nice a uh, little bit of texture into our colors. Now, there's other things we could do. We could go to filter and we could select uh, render and we could do a lens flare or lighting effects, things like this. And that might give us a little bit more color. Let's just go with that as it is. Now the next thing we want to do is to bring on our 3D element of whatever we're selling. I've shown you in previous YouTube videos how to create a 3D box image and I've opened a box image and I have it in my Photoshop elements uh, files that I've got open down here. And to drag one of these elements onto an existing image, what you want to do is go to your selection tool and then just drag the image you want onto the screen. And you notice it's there. You'll almost always have to resize the image and you can do it that way. Let's just put that, oh, like this. And if I like that, I can click that. Now, because that's on a separate layer, I can always go back and move it at any other time. Next thing we want to do is I want to add a new layer. I'm going to add some text. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my text tool. And then I'm going to go over here and select a text color. Let's select yellow. And then a text size. Uh, let's do an Arial Black. We're going to select regular size. And, uh, and then we'll select, let's say, 36. And then right here, I'm going to type in some text. And once that text is there, I can move it around. Let's put it right here. That looks pretty good. Now, if I want to do some other things with that text, while I've got it highlighted, I can put a drop shadow on it like that. That looks pretty good. Now we want to put the name of our product and again we're going to use the text tool. Uh, we're going to put it there. But let's select a different color text. We'll go for white this time. And we're going to type in the name of our product. Now you notice I've gone off the screen with it. That doesn't matter because you can move your text around just like this. And we can decide what's going to look best for this. So if I do that editing how-to videos, I don't want it to break right there. So what I'll do, editing how-to videos with Sony Movie Studio. I'll take off the misspelling. And I can move this text around like that to get just, just the effect that I want. Now once I have that there, again, if I want to put a drop shadow on it, I can do it just like this. It gives a nice drop shadow. The next thing I want to do is to uh, tell people where they can get this. And again, we use the text tool. And then we're going to put the address where it can be found. And again, if it's not exactly where we want it, we can move things around just by uh, selecting it. Put it wherever we want. We can change the size of it. We can change the placement of it. Anyway, that's how easy it is. Now, there are other things you might want to do. You might want to add some splashes of color to it. You might want to move this object around a little bit. But that's how quick and easy it is to create a, a nice advertisement for your DVDs that you can use on YouTube. Now, once you've created this, what you want to do is click a File and Save As. You save it as your PaintShop Pro template. 
And now that you've saved it as Paint Shop Profile, what you want to do is to save it as something you can import to your video program. And I generally save as a PNG because PNG is uh, not too compressive. It gives high resolution and can be imported into any video file. So I click Save As and it changes to a PNG. And you can interlace or non-interlace. It depends on where you're going to put it. We're just going to select non for this. Once I've done that, I can open any of my video editing programs, even Camtasia, and add this graphic to it. It's extremely easy to do, and adding graphics like this at the end of your YouTube videos can help people find products they might be interested in or they may not know about or may not know that you have to offer. It costs you nothing to do except for the little bit of time it takes to create a graphic like this. Anyway, I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. To find more like this, visit www.bmyers.com.